welcome to I Got a Podcast, Chattanooga Band's podcast, and we're here with Rustic Rain for episode two. We hope it's episode two. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, the ed- editing's been a little bit of a challenge, but I think Kim's uh, getting it down pretty good. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Uh, but guys, thanks for coming in, man. I mean, like I said, y'all, what we're do- we've been going to our go tos first. I know a lot of people are like. You use the same people forever because we we're, we know each wow. other. You know what to expect from us. We know what to expect from you because you know can, you, 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 y'all have the same lineup every time. So that's you know that's always been an easy thing to deal with. And, and, yeah. And I like to use people that we've used before because some people are hard working. I wasn't gonna bring that. Oh uh, well, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. there are some, some people are a little, a little more challenging, yeah. especially I learned that running sound. Uh, you know, there, there's a cliche, uh, cliche about sound guys are moody and rude. Well, I understand why now. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Hey, we just really appreciate uh, this opportunity, and we appreciate y'all for uh, bringing us on. And thanks for doing that. Man, and these guys really brought the heat with some of our good shows, like uh, with the uh, Canvas Festival and the... Uh, yeah. Rock for Tots. Did y'all see how much we brought in on that? I did. I did, man. We, yeah. we did good, you know, and mm-hmm. it was uh, kind of like uplifting, you know, uh, was... because at that show, I believe uh, we took like a, a a money donation and or a toy that you mm-hmm. could bring yeah. in. And yeah. man, when you're seeing those people bring in the toys, you know, anybody can kind of bring money or whatever, right. but when they put those toys in there, yeah, that, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, we've done that, what? Cost me my- for five years, I think. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah. And it goes and, straight and, to the community. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, because yeah, uh, Devin uh, Hodge, Hodge, Hodge. Hey, Devin Shay Hodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he does a lot for he, for he charity does. around, yeah. and uh, he's a really good guy. Yeah, yeah. He, is, he is. Little yeah. plug, uh, Days of Deception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're gonna get those guys in soon. Uh, so, so one of the things about you guys that you know, working with you guys is y'all are a cover band and we really never had that much experience doing you know working with cover bands right. until yeah. really you guys i mean that are kind of you kind of lean real heavy into it. i mean sure everybody does a couple covers but right you know that's your thing and i tell you right now man i recently was in a cover band and i was ho- fucking horrible <laughs> i was horrible i cannot play other people people's stuff that mm-hmm. well yeah because I, I don't know if it's just because i came up making up my own music and i and like when i play a cover it's kind of like <clears throat> i kind of treat it like i wrote it right and you guys yeah. y'all y'all are note for note pretty yeah. much. even like the leads and solos are pretty much on point yeah i mean almost exact and that's hard to do I guess I'm saying for me it is easy. i don't y'all yeah. make it look easy but for me i'm like it's not easy it's not easy Okay. <laughs> but I, I, I think I think it goes back to a little bit of my personality because I'm the type that never reads fucking instructions <laughs> yeah. or or do, you, uh, you know what I mean? Right, like yeah. you know, I, right. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I think I think that is my issue with covers. Yeah. Well, pe- people know the songs and stuff. They know the words. That's and if you miss one or you miss, it, they know it. Right. right. It's your own yeah. stuff. And, and we still know it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we yeah. do try to play. You know, like we're, we're a cover band. Right. You know, so we want to sound as authentic to the song that we're covering as possible. Right. You know, true right. to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. true to it. True to yeah. it. Definitely. Y'all do a great job at it too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So how how, are you, how do y'all pick the songs? Is this something y'all like, or or is it got to do with like are y'all switching tuning during the sets? Uh, we are. We actually uh, so we just started off. Um, basically doing like your uh, standard tuning, right, Jeff? And then our drop D. Standard and then the drop D. Right. So we had those two sets, and um, one of my favorite bands is uh, Deftones. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really wanted us to do a change in the House of Flies. And we looked at it. We noticed that it was drop C. I really wanted to do it, so we did it. So we added some more songs that were in the, the drop C, you know. Um, right. So that, that that's how we came about that. Like, for instance... The newest song that we're working on, you're asking how we come up with the songs that we want to do or whatever. I believe it was the last time that we played at Level Up. This guy, Chris, was driving on his way home and messaged in our little group chat that we had and said, I want to do Kickstart My Heart. Yeah, like, that's mm-hmm. what I want to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's the newest one that we're working Stuff on. Stuff like that. So, you know, yeah. We suggest it and we're just like, 
yeah, we'll be like, eh, yeah, sometimes, but sometimes we're just like, that's the one, yeah. and we go in there, and we, like, no. Yeah, because there's been other ones that we have been like, hey, we want to do this, and we're like, yeah, yeah, and we'll do it a couple of weeks, you know, yeah. and we'll get pretty into it and just kind of like fades out. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, it just didn't so, really work out. Work yeah, out. it's just really got to stick because there's five of us. Yeah. You know? okay. So, yeah. It, yeah. you know, we all have to agree on it, you know, majority rules. Right, right. So, and I mean, we don't, you know, we, we have problems playing them sometimes, too, because they're, yeah. you know, they're, they're not easy. You know, yeah. and, and some of them, you know, some songs work and some songs don't. You know? Some songs may be like really, really great. And we all love it and we really want to learn it even, but like we get to play in it and we might be like, oh, this isn't really working out for us. Even mm -hmm. if we like didn't really per se had a hard time hitting the notes or nothing like that, it would just be, just you know, didn't we're feel just like, into it. everybody did. It I didn't guess. feel the part kind of or something, maybe mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That, and, and you know, that, that's that's crazy how how you guys can just pull it off, man. I, I'm still amazed by that because like when y'all do like um, uh, the Molly Crew song, y'all do geez. Wild Side, yeah, we do Wild, Wild Side, Side yeah, man. That y'all do that so spot on, mm -hmm. so you. spot yeah. on. Uh, so how, when how long have y'all been a band? Because I know y'all have changed names recently, and I still call y'all by <laughs> yeah. the old name, yeah. COVID. Yeah, COVID with a K. <laughs> yeah. COVID with a K. And, and it's crazy how this all came about because, you know, we were literally, um, Jeff here um, had been talking about getting some people together and just wanted to do some cover songs. That that was the initial, you know, uh, foundation for, for this band. And uh, by God, when he was getting ready to start was when the uh, pandemic happened. Yeah. So uh, it kind of got postponed for a little bit, but not long because we were just like, screw it, we're, we're still going to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a bunch of us got together and we were like, hey, in the, in, in the situation that we're going through, let's uh, become COVID, you know. Because mm -hmm. you, know, you know how hard it is to, you know, find a band name. Yeah. 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 That, that one is not taken or, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we just kind of came up with that because of, you know, everything going on wow. with the pandemic. But we wanted to put it with a K. <laughs> yeah, we had to change it up. Yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah you had to change that, it up. We knew there were going to be critics, you know, that people ain't going to like it. Some mm -hmm. people are going to love it, you know, but that's just the good and the bad that you take yeah. with it. So, I mean, that's just kind of what we ran with. And, and then here recently, you know, I I kind of brought it up to, I hope that we can get past the, the, the word COVID and COVID-19 and, and pandemic mm -hmm. and, and all this other stuff. So it was kind of like a, a thought between uh, the band that, you know, when this stuff is finally gone away, nobody wants to hear that stuff anymore. Nobody wants to be brought up of, of the pain or, and or the suffering that everybody, you know, because I know we've all lost loved ones during that whole thing. So we didn't want to be brought up of, the, of those bad memories. So right. we wanted to change the name. You yeah. Know, and, yeah. Uh, Let it, it die, kind of die out with the pain. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And it got yeah. what, you know, I mean, I'm saying you had a couple laughs, maybe. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know when I'm thinking flies up that said COVID on it with, with like the gas mask yeah. one. And yeah. People were like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah. Might have kept the people away. We don't know yet. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's like you come up to somebody they're like, oh, you're in a band. What's your band name? And you're like, COVID with a K. And they're like, of course. <laughs> of course it is. Right. Right. I think some of them remember that, you know, stick with you. No. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's what you gotta look for. Cause like a, a band called Hanger Abortion. Everybody knows who, who they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a lot of it has to do with the name. Right. But it's got the good and bad because you had a sticker on your car one time. I had a coat hanger abortion and you got your car keyed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a, uh, that, 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 and those guys, they've had that name for, yeah, they, they've, they've been around for five years, years or so. For yeah. a long time. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. They're one of the few people that predate me in the music scene yeah. a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. yeah. Those guys have been around. Mm -hmm. They have. They, they've been around a while. So do y'all got any? So do y'all have anything booked, or y'all just working on a new set? You know, we're adding more material right yeah. now, actually. Yeah, we okay. are. We are. Uh, we we don't have anything booked. You know, um, you know. Definitely going to do a cannabis festival. Though. Yeah, we're yeah. We, we'd love. Uh, thank y'all for having yeah. uh, for us uh, for the first yeah. annual yeah, you really, know cannabis really festival really that we had. Yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome. You know, we we want to continue to do things like that. Uh, here in the area, um, I believe that you know, as a cover band, 
you know, and uh, hopefully people uh, see this, you know, uh, things like that. But, um, you know, we want to we want to be the guys that you go out and you see on a at a buds on a Friday right. Saturday yeah. night or uh, go to your uh, bike night local here mm -hmm. um, in, in the area and stuff because um, we think that uh, that's what that kind of like type of people you know we're we're, we're older guys we're older guys mm -hmm. you know so we want to mesh in with that crowd and stuff like that you know I think that, that that's the ultimate goal he, he's a young buck he's a young buck but, <laughs> you always gotta have a couple of young ones in yeah you, you always got to feed off their energy yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I tell you what he, he really is the odd one out because he's the youngest but also um, the four of us mom and Sam we're all Aquariuses so mm -hmm. he's the one that's not an Aquarius. Pisces. Yeah, he's a Pisces. So he's the odd man out. But I didn't uh, actually know that. <laughs> but but, but, but know that. one thing about Chris, he's the, he's the most talented. He is. He, he is. is. Man, he you know, if you ever need like flyers or anything down like that, you know, we also uh, Jeff. Where we practice is also uh, Rock Scene Studios. Plug. Yeah, <laughs> so right it, guys, if mm -hmm. if anybody wants to come and, and record. Or anything like that, then you know My this video. guy right here has like the setup. You know? Is it is that where Wicked Weird's is now recording? Yes, at your place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for y'all yeah, don't know, Jeff is actually in Wicked Weird too. We yeah. 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 Point, but. And What's up, Bailey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give him a I love Bailey, man. Yeah. The bass he, player for Wicked Weird. <laughs> that dude is awesome. Yeah. That dude is awesome. <laughs> He seems like he's having a good time every time. He's a good him. kid. He's a good, and I say that because I'm, I'm 43. Yeah. But he's a good kid. I have a daughter that's his age. He's a, he's a good kid. So a yeah, kid. you know that's my my daughter was going to Ziggy's with me, hanging out. You know, and it's just, it almost it's such a weird feeling when when they get that age. You yeah, know, and you're like, yeah. You want a beer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah exactly. And we're both kind of yeah. having each other like, right? <laughs> That's like my 20 year old just taking cigarettes out of my cigarette pack and right out there. Right. I'm like, I never would have thought. Right. You know. The next, the next thing in line is strip clubs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a bad joke. I know. <laughs> we can edit that one out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, uh, right now we are, uh, we're recording the band Silence. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're recording those guys, too. Awesome, man. Yeah. Kind of bring that up. Uh, I've played with Devin. Not Devin. His, uh, well, speaking of Devin. Uh, speaking of Devin, there yeah. you go. Segway. Uh, yeah. Zach. Zach used to be in my okay. band oh, years ago. Okay. Yeah. My old, the legendary. Dude, legendary. We have to put legendary mm -hmm. every time we say Red State. Okay. Band yeah. Red State. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's uh, one of the OG yeah. hardcore punk bands that I had for. It was quite a few years. Yeah, oh. yeah, and uh, but yeah, we, yeah, we we had Zach for a minute playing bass for us, but we, the thing, and he he He's was talented a man, talented bass player, super. But he was too young. He couldn't play in certain yeah. venues. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 was that was always the whole. He like sweep on a bass guitar. It's crazy. Yeah, pretty mm -hmm. wild. <laughs> Yeah, so what are what are y'all playing? Let's cover gear. I, I'm a gear nerd, so what? what I, I noticed, uh, Jeff, you, you kind of play through the same rig almost every time, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got a, a you know a Kramer. I have uh, a, a Revzilla, mm -hmm. um, a PC Rich. Yeah, and uh, I, I I love ESP LTDs. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a couple of those guitars that I play on. Okay. And, and I've always liked the Kramer and, you know, Charvel. Uh, never re really was much of an Ibanez fan, but uh, they are really nice guitars. But, yeah, more along the ESP, BC Rich, you know. Okay. But are you a a tube head? Are you a tube amp guy? Or are you a uh, solid state? Or does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. You know, I pretty much just created my own sound anyways. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it really doesn't matter. As long as I got my sound that I yeah. like, you know, it, that's all that really matters. Yeah, that's the way I am. I don't care if it's tube or, or uh, solid state. I feel like my my pedals give me my tone. So, it is. I mean, maybe, maybe it, it, it affects if you're using, in my opinion, you know, I'm sure that tube heads, they, they're, they're diehard people like but uh, but 
Yeah, I, I feel like my my pedals control my tone, not the amp itself. You know? Right, right. Yeah. But what are you using, Chris? I like uh, as far as guitars go. I'm I very much am and always have been a very big Schecter guy. Mm -hmm. I've got a, a C1 Hellraiser with a Floyd Rose. Then I have a, a hardtail uh, guitar. I can't remember what the I think it was like a Diamond series or something is what it's called. But I've always loved those guitars, but my favorite thing other than guitars is my pedal board it's a uh, moor ge 300 is what it's called mm -hmm. and it's like a it's got all the digital anything you want but it emulates tube emulates whatever you want you can pick your microphones put them where you want them on that thing in yeah. there you get in there you can get real specific you know what i mean uh, it's, it's pretty awesome, you know, I mean, I, I run my head's a solid state anyway, and it has tube emulation on it too, and it's like the first one that was on the market that did it watt for watt and all that stuff, but it, uh, I just basically just run it, um, past the, uh, I bypass the preamp and the effects loop, mm -hmm. and I just use it basically as just a dry amplification, and I get all my sound on my pedals too, I, I kind of, I'm with that, you know what I mean, because you really could just take that pedal and you can use microphone emulation with cab emulation mm -hmm. and just go right into somebody's PA. You know yeah, I mean? I, bring a pedal and a guitar and you're done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's why he's the most talented. I'm like over here listening to him. That's awesome. And, right? You know, I've noticed a lot of artists are doing that now. Like, especially like I, I figured next time I go out on tour so I don't kill my back is just bring my own uh, powered monitor and, and run, just hand the sound guy, you know, out of that powered monitor so I can run my effects and everything into that monitor. Yeah. And so I'm not lugging a big amp or something. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, but. That, that's what we did in the past few shows that we yeah. had. We just took our pedal boards. You know, okay. And we've been for a while now, actually. Are you? Pretty much done away with heads, really. If, if the sound guy there is yeah. a little bit decent, I mean, we, we have pretty good tones and it's kind of we, we, we kind of feel like it's like we like it you know what I mean so it has generally been a very very great experience uh, even without those uh, amps there to kind of help us get that over the edge feedback or something yeah. when we want it and we get a little close to it what? You know what I mean? yeah. but you know what I mean we just get that out of the you know floor monitors you know what I mean instead yeah you know? and so that's even better really because it's actually in our ears, you know what I mean? We don't mm -hmm. have to have in ears or nothing, you know what I mean? When it, whereas when it's behind us, we might not can hear it as much sometimes because it's kind of just hitting the back of us, you know what I mean, or something. But you know what I mean? It's 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 pretty great, you know, really. Do y'all use it? To say about it, I guess. Do y'all use in ears? No. no, no, no. We thought about getting like a in ear system, like in our studio, but in his studio, but like. I don't know, we ain't really that never worked it. out for us, you know. I know our uh, our drummer Barry, who um, yeah, had, we used to do it without. Yeah, he, had, he had some inner ears. Yeah, he had inner ears, oh, yeah, um, yeah. and uh, he he did not like them. You know, he just felt like you know being able to hear like the the live yeah. experience was, was a lot better. So, and I will say from the time and he is old school too. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it, I, you know, I've they I got cauliflower ear. And so they, anything that goes in my ear like, aggravates it. Yeah. So I, I, I'd like to, but it, it, it just, I, I just wouldn't feel, you know. Yeah. I don't think I enjoy the feeling because uh, at work we have to wear those, and I have to buy a special one for work. So. All right. Uh, but yeah, that I think that takes something to get used to, and yeah. You know, and, and you know, being an older guy, you know, uh, my hearing's already blown mm -hmm. out. So, <laughs> right. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. we're doing some at Ziggy's. Yeah, kind of, kind of helped with that a bit because right. you know that that room boomed like they it did. It did. Yeah. I mean, it did, man. It was awesome though. Yeah, it was I awesome. Could, times. Yeah, I could times. play yeah. that that room with a fifteen watt amp and get above. I mean, be yeah. able to hang with the yeah. drummer yeah. just because. Yeah. You get that good bounce off the back that back wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some bands were coming Free over, reverb. you know, the half stack, you know, the whole stacks. stacks. I'm like, yeah. Do you not know where you're playing? You know, yeah. yeah. You don't need all this, you know. Right, right, right. We did that once. All I did. <laughs> we're guilty. Yeah. We're guilty as tires. Yeah. Like, we didn't do it again, Noah. <laughs> you, you can tell bands' ages by their amps too. 
the young guys, <laughs> uh, 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 Silas, another one. They, they, and I'm like, yeah, you give it ten more years, your guy, yeah, your guys' yeah. backs will be like, no, nah, here's this combo I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of dragging in a few Marshall stacks. <laughs> That's why it was uh, so much convenience, you know, to actually take that pedal board a few times and yeah. just plug it straight into the PA. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Okay. All right, so we had to take a little break there. Mm -hmm. thanks, thanks for coming back. We'll put a video right there, by the way. Formerly noted as COVID. With a K. <laughs> With a K. <laughs> uh, so, we, yeah, we were going to get into, you know, we were talking a little bit about the song selection for you guys. And um, and, and so, you, you know, Chris went into, you know, certain songs that doesn't fit, even though y'all want it to fit. Mm -hmm. And, and, I, and that, that goes with, you know, that, that's the thing about music, I think, is like, you know, I say this, and it's the hard part about it. Yeah, of. yeah, it is. It is like somebody like I've brought people into my bands before, and they're awesome. But when we brought them into our band, it just didn't work. You, you know, yeah, it was yeah, just yeah, like that happens a lot. Something about it just just couldn't fit. You yeah. know, and chemistry just yeah, yeah, yeah there. chemistry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I've been friends with people outside, you know, and then they come in and play with us, and I'm just like. It's this doesn't feel this is not fit. Right. This yeah. ain't jiving, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and like the way I learned music is kind of odd versus most people's way of learning music. Uh, I don't know if y'all have that issue or not. Um, because I'm a theory guy, and I think there's two camps of theory guys and then guys that do everything by ear. And exactly. and so I'm a theory guy. You're a theory yeah. guy. Yeah. Or yeah. I mean, I'm the hybrid kind of hybrid pretty much yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah yeah that's kind of that's kind yeah. of where i'm at i would say like, more or less theory than yeah but, you know i can't i can't like by ear yeah i can't hear something and be like oh that's a g to uh, a, right right to a f7 okay. right you, you know Usually, I, yeah yeah I, I don't have <laughs> but i know people like that they're mm -hmm. like oh well, that's that chord and and i'm like man i, I can't do that so I could so, probably name yeah. them, but I can't say what right. pitch it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. kind of, I'm tone deaf, but I know what a chord, like, mm -hmm. resonates as effectively. You know what I mean? Like, I can spot a sus4 uh, basically resolving itself into a regular major. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as you play it, it's like, ah, ah, ah. That's like the pertinent No, I just, like, have, like, different little, like, intervals basically memorized and that's how I really learned actually playing versus just like staring at information on a piece of paper or something mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying or a screen or whatever yeah that's kind of how I, I work too I just memorize how it sounds and then if it's physically on an instrument then I just kind of like memorize intervals you know what I mean like little groups of groups I guess you know okay I mean? yeah yeah, I'm, I'm a little more pattern, I guess. Or yeah, like, like, very pattern is yeah, very yeah, pattern -ish, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah if I can, if I can learn a pattern, then I'm yeah. good. I yeah. think. Like yeah. a mental yeah, picture, like or, yeah, pattern. what it looks like, mm -hmm. yeah, placement wise. Yeah, and plus, I'm such an odd because I, I only have two working fingers on my left hand, so I play very, very strange. And a lot of people's like, "What are you doing?" You yeah. know, and I'm like, "It's a long story, yeah. man. It's yeah. a long story. I only have." Yeah, so I've I've just made workarounds that kind of are not really. A lot of people are like, "What, what are you doing?" Because I play, you know, I'm, I'm sure y'all notice I play a two string bass. I I thought I sang that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just basically play power chords on bass. Yeah, uh, because when I play a four string or a five string, I notice I was power chording a lot of the strings, and I was like. Well, if I could cut out a lot of the buzz by just taking the strings off. Right. Strings I don't yeah. use. Yeah. 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 Hey, that reminds me. 
one of my favorite of all time favorite freaking guitar players, man. His name's Paul Gilbert. He played in Mr. Big. Mm-hmm. I'm the one who wants to be. Yeah. That, that, Those guys are right cover. There you go, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, so it was crazy, man. He had this like double neck guitar, right? He had a regular six string on the high one, right? Mm -hmm. Or it might be the other way, but around. Uh, but I think it was the high one. I'm pretty sure it was a regular six string guitar. But the other one was tuned to be a six string guitar as well. But he just. Um, you know what I mean? It had enough pegs for it. Mm -hmm. He put a regular six string neck on that part, I think is what he did. But he only used three strings and it was the high E where it belongs. Mm -hmm. And then he used the D string tuned up to an E, a step, mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, one string down. So it immediately the E string going to an E string, that's a D string tuned up. Mm -hmm. And then the third string up from the bottom was the low E string tuned to regular E. So he had three octaves of E's. So he could do like, he could tap like a uh, arpeggio tap mm -hmm. all the way up and down. It'd be like, <laughs> 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 it'd be, sound like just really crazy complex chords, right? Mm -hmm. Just arpeggiating like infinitely high. And he'd be like, <laughs> and it's like, he goes crazy on that. He'll have like people, they call it the human cable. He'll have people come in, mm -hmm. hold a fret down, and then he would do like, notes based off of that to make a chord with that note and then they'd hold another fret it was just crazy and then they had billy sheehan come in there and mm -hmm. do it on his bass too they're all like they had the drummer and the singer out there he wouldn't cape them in their <laughs> instruments he was great <laughs> hey let's yeah, put the singer at work yeah, yeah. 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 most of them all i carry is a microphone yeah, yeah. <laughs> you play that level up. i looked at him and was like did he go no he played with them you know because you're sitting there talking you know it was this guy and then y'all were tuning it up, getting ready. I was like, and then he just got there, boop, and just right spot on. I mean, just like, I was like, well, okay. Hey, I, I tell anybody, I tell anybody and everybody that I come across mm -hmm. that they are the people with the talent. You know, I'm just mm -hmm. up there uh, with a microphone. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it's a, it's just a badass karaoke band behind. Me, you know what I mean? Because we are a cover band and okay, things let's, like that. Uh, let, let's go into this subject that we're we're gonna have a big topic on it coming up on yeah. another show. But I I know I've done your sound, so I know the answer to this question. But we'll. Do y'all use backing tracks? Ooh, no. Ooh, no. So never, no once. Me and Jeff had this Jeff. conversation mm -hmm. earlier. I knew this was gonna come up. <laughs> I knew this was gonna come up. So, um, I uh, I watched uh, the opening video for this podcast, and you were talking about how this subject was gonna come up, mm -hmm. and you said that um, you know, that you believe that it's just another instrument. Um, I'm not opposed. To using oh, yeah. backing tracks yeah. or backing vocals, anything like that. <laughs> it's just that that's not us. Right. Um, yeah. We, uh, and I, I would think, honestly, I mean, between um, Aunt Betty, Voodoo Slim, uh, Sexy Beast, all these bands, call it a plug if you want to. We're just trying to be where y'all are. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I believe that we would be. The only one, if not a couple cover bands in Chattanooga that don't use backing tracks, anything like that, you know, because we want to uh, try to give you that full yeah. experience yep. and, and things Raw. like that. And, and I think that that's what sets continuing. us apart from all these other places um, and, and these other bands. And, you know, I just honestly, I just want to get our foot in the door in, yeah. into some of these places. You know? here, here, I will share, share my million dollar secret with you guys about getting into where you want to play. Okay. Never hurts to ask. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Close yeah. your mouth, don't ever get fed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I and, mean, and, 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 I, and personally, you know, I have asked, and it's like, you know, just to get on the, uh, you know, to be considered <laughs> uh, at Buzz, you know, you have to have in your submission you know, as they call it, you know, which would be like a, a, a media packet or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. You'd have to have that in by like October, November of the previous year of even when you're wanting to get booked, you know, and things like that. Right. Well, so, I mean, you know, like what I, you know, back in the day, you, you know, Chattanooga has been an ebb and flows of venues. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then like, you know, I started up where there was two. There was Ziggy's and there was uh, the local. 
that was that was JJ's. I mean, we're, JJ's is in the, where the local where right. it used to be. Right. Then, it, then John bought it, and, mm-hmm. and it became JJ's. But uh, but it right back back then it was pretty cutthroat as far as getting shows. Like yeah. that's back when we had eight nine bands a show because there just wasn't as, that yeah. many ven- venues. Yeah. And I weekly there for a while. I was stopping by these places and was like, hey, if you. You know, they're like, well, we're, we're booked up. Well, I was like, well, if anybody cancels on you, right. give yeah. us a call. We can, we'll be ready within a day if you need us. Right. Yeah. You know, you know and but to go back to the back and tracks real quick, uh, you, you know, I'm not against it. If it's like something that's like isn't very easily done live, that's like just a little extra thing here in like an intro to something. Yeah. Or maybe like literally if we were to get like one of those little sample pads, just like sample the drummer like sample sound at a specific part like an explosion like yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah just like little yeah. things maybe yeah. be good with you know that I mean? you know like yeah. the sound Still performance rain. related mostly right. you know what i mean yeah. we, we, we talked like about we talked song. about doing um uh, no Charlotte Lucidity really, you know I mean? by Queens Rock you mm-hmm. know and it has a lot of things that you could use that the the, the backing yeah. Yeah, back tracks and stuff like that you know yeah. samples and stuff that you could use for that and yeah it, it's it's nice but yeah, yeah. I, I think a metronome would drive Barry crazy, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, a lot of the hip hop, they uh, they make their own beats, they make their own music. Yeah. They do. But, but then, the, you know, then they kind of like have the backing track, use that. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, so, I mean, you know, I understand yeah. using backing track for emotion. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of it is used for emotion. And then and then you got, you know, like the sound of rain or the sound of thunder. I mean, yeah. I, I, there's nothing wrong with that. You yeah. Know. yeah, you know, I think. I, but I, if you're I, trying to fake it to make it, no. Well, you know, I, mean, you know, I used to be in that camp. I used to think that way. Yeah, I don't and have then, a problem with it either way. I just prefer to be a non metronome guy. Yeah, I mean, I understand. I like, it I think it. Like, I've done it, just messing around with it. I, you know, I, I, I mess around making beats and stuff too. On the, you know, and uh, and it's it's because if you get out of whack with that track, oh yeah, it throws it, everything. It, it, on. It, yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll leave you behind. Off. Quick, yeah. it won't think twice about yeah, it. Yeah, because you know, like sometimes you play a song you can only use one it. time, and you're like, oh, and you listen to it back, and you're like, oh, that's a little slow, or like, oh, we played that a bit fast. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you, oh, you, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. and, and so, yeah. so do, using tracks, man, you have to be on that speed <laughs> exactly. every time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 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 So it's just hard. It's hard, yeah. but I think it. Yeah. It, I think, I, I think it's a tool. Just, I think. I think it, it's just another... Like you said, it's another instrument. Yeah, yeah. because, you know, yeah. like, say, you, you know, my bands have a track record of never canceling a show. Mm-hmm. There's only one show in my life I ever canceled, and that's when my mother passed away, and we were, we had a show in Nashville. And I still played the show Saturday in Chattanooga, though. But, uh, and, but, but the thing was, like, when people fall out, luckily I play every instrument. I, I might play every instrument shitty, but I do play every instrument. So, so I, you know, I've always been the utility man to go. But like, if you don't have that option, you know, you have the tracks available. I can see where that's that's right. awesome. Right. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. and and the backing tracks will work perfectly with an acoustic player. Yeah, by himself. Yeah, yeah I think I think it. Yeah, you, you know, like I said great. before. There's no such thing as bad music. Right. It's like there's no such thing as bad sex. As yeah. long as you're having it, right. yeah. it's a good time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some's good, some's bad, but yeah. it's mostly all good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, at the time it's good. I mean, maybe later yeah. you might regret yeah. it, but yeah. Yeah. it did happen. Yeah. I'm better now. I've, yeah. I've heard musicians, you know, they've been totally against me putting it down and just like, no, there's nothing. It's right. music. It's, it's, yeah. You're making it's music. Art. If yeah. you're using a backing track for emotions or anything like that, I mean, it's and, and there's know, nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I used to. I mean, I'm. Re- I used to be real bad about shitting on that. You know, I at tribute bands and stuff. And then someone said something to me on Facebook, and and I was like, "You're right." He was like, "It's performance art, man." It did. It's exactly. And I was like, "You're right." There's no difference between. You know, dressing up as Kiss mm-hmm. and playing Kiss songs, yeah. then yeah. putting on right. a play of, uh, of uh, what? I'm sorry, Shakespeare. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Or a musical, you know, or like yeah. uh, flash mobs dancing uh, to a, your favorite mm-hmm. '80s song or yeah. something at a yeah. ball. Yeah, so you know, it's all yeah. it's, it's all entertainment. It and, is sometimes, it is. And, and sometimes, as musicians, we got to get out of our heads about 
what is the community going to think versus who we the listener. Who, who, the yeah, listener. The listener. That's, that's the most important is the listener. Yeah, because, you know, you, you know the, I mean, there's toxic musicians, you know. What? <laughs> yeah, no, right. no. And, 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 you know, and, 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 and I say that just by saying that I'm not trying to put anybody in a category, but it, people get stuck in this is the only way to do something. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. And if yeah. you're not doing it this way, you're doing it wrong, doing it wrong, yeah, yeah. yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I kind of, I kind of feel like you know that kind of goes to like everybody wants to be in a tribe, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and and you you know, and it's, sometimes it just takes a conversation to change that person's mind yeah. on, mm-hmm. you know, right. hey, maybe there is another way. Right. They are right. other ways. So. So that's just kind of the way I, yeah. but I I was that way, and that's one of the things. Just aging in life and aging as a musician, you start there. There's more than one way to skin a cat because mm-hmm. if you if you try to your whole life thinking this is the only way, you know everything is hard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, and there is more ways to skin a cat. That's why I think that yeah. it's uh it's it's so hard for us as as a band to like pick like a particular song to uh, come up and and, and cover. Because uh, as as a band, if you have like a, a particular goal that you're that you're trying to set and to achieve, then your song selection really means everything. Mm-hmm. You know, because there are songs that we uh, that we played at Ziggy's um, that um, wouldn't have gone over had we played them at Level Up Arcade. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so you definitely have to pick the correct uh, song style. And songs particular for that, for your audience. Right. You know, you have mm-hmm. to appeal to your audience. Which I'm glad that we do have such an array of different yeah, styles yeah. of music because we go from Audio Slave to Ronnie James Dio yeah. from to, 80s to yeah to Godsmack to yeah. to, mm-hmm. to your hair bands and rats to, and things like yeah. that. You know, we're we're kind of like all over the map, but at the same time, that's good because yeah, if we're gonna go play here. And this certain crowd likes this type of music, then we know, hey, we're going to pull these songs out of the set list and, and, and this and that. That's what, you know, yeah, yeah it's going to go. Options. Options, yes, yeah. options. And, yeah. and, you know, I've seen covers, like, I, I had a theory I came up with, because, you know, I've probably seen 5,000 shows at this mm-hmm. point, oh, out of just local music. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I had a theory that you can keep a crowd for only 20 to 30 minutes, mm-hmm. no, unless you play a song people know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is the biggest thing that changes. Like, I've seen like people start walking out, and then someone start playing a cover, and they stop and turn around and come back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you yeah, know, even stuff that they know. And, you know, like... The like, hits. The yeah, hits. Yeah. I mean, your radio yeah. hits. Yeah. And things like that, you know. And I think that that's what we try to do, definitely. You know, we, we do have our... Uh, a handful of stuff that's you know kind of like to the true fans of you know that genre or maybe that particular band things like that we kind of hit those songs that are like oh yeah you know da, 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 and, and really get into it so song selection is just all about especially being a cover band you yeah because when you write originals which you know we are a cover band and we have you know in the works to where we are kind of going towards the original side of things, you know, but I think that yeah, that, that time will come, you know, mm-hmm. in, in the meantime, we're just having fun. That's the main thing is just yeah. having yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 Feel it. You gotta what feel you it. If you ain't feeling it, then you ain't feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's kind of like babysitting before you have your kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like babysitting right now until you have your originals. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, but in... You know, it's hard. It's hard uh, to um, make it when you when you do write originals and things yeah. like that. You know, it's very hard, um, and it just it becomes a lot easier when I'm not gonna lie. You know, when you can do other people's songs and if you can get into these places and, and play and things like that. You know, a lot of bands um, start off as as cover bands. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, I know I know uh, Devin and them yeah. and Days of Deception. Mm-hmm good cover band and yeah. things like that they now they're starting to yeah. venture off into that original
top contemplating life I'm just sitting up here knowing knowing my time ain't right Judging day to day I just hope I'm out there teaching All the right words to say Baby, no, it's not my 